Good morning, guys. I uh, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to make a uh, one of the Raku NOU uh, pieces, and I'm going to show you how I would go about doing that, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go, I'm going to start by going to his website. Uh, so hopefully you've been to this website and kind of seen some of his work. I want to show you uh, down here in the Natura insect section. Um, I'm going to kind of move through this because he has one specific area that this is kind of what we're working from today. So uh, like you can see here in this picture, there's some scissors and some tweezers and then some cut leaves. Uh, it's just giving you kind of a little bit of an idea of what you know what he's doing. How is he making these pieces of art? So I'm scrolling down, uh, and I want to get. I'm trying to get to a specific image. This is a picture of him. Hopefully, you watched the video, saw, it, learned a little bit about him and kind of what he does. This is the image that I'm looking for. So this is the piece that uh, I'm going to show you how to make today. Uh, just kind of a simple butterfly. You can see, uh, so here on the right side, these are his uh, supplies, his materials that he's used. Uh, and then on the left, you can see kind of how he's assembled it. Uh, I think he might use glue, but I also, I, I think there are some where he does not use glue at all. For our work, uh, if you don't have glue, I don't think you need to, um, you know, you, you don't need it. You, uh, the piece that I'm gonna make today with you, uh, I'm not gonna use glue just so you can kind of see the process. Uh, so let's get over, let me hook up my document camera, and we will get started. Um, I have had one, I've had a student who mentioned that they did not have uh, access to the greenery or the materials. Uh, if that is you, uh, that is okay. Uh, don't want you to stress about that. What I would like for you to do though is I'd like for you to make leaves out of paper or cardboard um, so that you can still kind of go through the process. I, I would prefer that you not create uh, a drawing. So I went out this morning and I just cut some greenery. So you can see like this is just like a little bit of a branch of something. Uh, and I'm gonna cut some leaves off of that probably. Uh, I cut these pieces of grass because I thought they were kind of visually interesting or this is, uh, I guess it's like grass. Um, so I'm just going to kind of set these things out. Uh, and this is kind of what I would recommend for you for, you know, for the next several days. I've got a couple of branches here. So this is a branch from a dogwood. I cut this one uh, because I thought perhaps I could use some of these kind of twisty uh, bits of wood as like legs perhaps or for our purposes today I'm going to use it as uh, antenna uh, and then I just again I'm just kind of cutting some different so like I looked at the leaf shapes on this and then this is a kind of a different tree and these have different leaf shapes so I, I grabbed uh, two of these guys and then one other I found this kind of really I think interesting guy um, these are just the, the texture of the leaves uh, anyhow, I thought they were interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look for um, some leaves that are the same size. And because I kind of like the shape of this guy, I'm just going to cut off or even, uh, let's see, yep, I'll just pull off some leaves. And my goal is to come up with uh, some pairs here. So I want some leaves that are pretty much the same size. It looks like these guys are. Uh, go to full screen so you guys can see this a little bit better um, and so I could continue to work off of the same uh, plant which in this case let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to keep it real simple to start so I've gotten everything off of the same plant this morning uh, I'm noticing that these leaves aren't laying flat maybe in the way that I would like so I'm just going to use my scissors and just cut off just a little bit and see if that helps to get them to lay a little bit more flat, which I kind of think it does. Um, so got that. And again, I'm looking for two pairs of leaves that I feel like are pretty much the same size. And I've, I've kind of got that. So I'm gonna cut these guys down just a little bit. And again, I'm just using regular old scissors. Um, so there, now I've got, so I've got those leaf parts uh, and what I'll do over the next day or two, 
uh, is I'm going to probably give you kind of parts lists, kind of like I've done here, and then uh, I'll show you an image of it assembled. I'll probably take you through one or two more bugs is the reality. Uh, so I liked some of the dark leaves on this, and I think I'm going to cut off just a few of those. Again, I don't have to cut them off. I could just probably peel them off, which seems to work just as well. Um, I also like, so I'm kind of breaking away from the image that was shown on the computer. These guys in the center I feel like are great for antenna. So I'm just going to kind of pluck that out, out there, lay that down. So you can see it's like a, it's almost like a, let's see if I can hold that up for you to see. So it's like a little flower that has that, whatever that is, coming out of the center of it. I'm not a biology teacher, friends. Uh, all right, so I'm going to set those aside. Got these guys. I'm going to pull one more of those. Uh, one of those guys that I think could be like an antenna for us. And so now I've got, uh, if I'm thinking through the parts that, that we saw on his website, I've got my wings. So these guys are wings. These would probably be like a headpiece. These are antenna. Uh, so I just need some pieces that I can turn into a body for the, the purpose of this assignment. So I kind of feel like one of these guys will be good for that. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna cut off a little bit. Make sure you guys can see that. Uh, and I'm saving some of these. You know, uh, what I what I my goal for you guys is that you're just gonna do some experimenting. Um, find an insect that you want to kind of recreate. So I'm just kind of cutting this to shape just a little bit so it's not flat. I'm just kind of cutting a curve. Uh, so ultimately what I'm creating I think is uh, will be the ad abdomen of this guy. Uh, so I'm going to start kind of laying this guy out. And I think honestly, uh, so I've got heads, head pieces, which I think will be good, antenna. One piece of abdomen, so I want uh, one, at least one more piece, and I've got another uh, guy over here that's got some kind of interesting leaves, so I think I'm going to take one of these maybe to kind of create that other leaf part. Um, so again, I'm just going to kind of peel that away, now you can see. And now I think I've got everything that I need, so let's just, uh, again, let's just lay it out. So I've got two pairs, uh, two pairs of wings. Uh, I've got antenna, uh, I've got these parts that will be the head, and then these guys I think I'm going to use as kind of an abdomen shape for this, this uh, butterfly that we're going to make. So I'm just going to cut off uh, part of the stem on this guy, and then I'm going to start laying it out. So I'm going to move these guys kind of out of the way. I think you want to, uh, for the purposes of this, I think we're going to do probably the wings first. So I'm gonna kind of set these guys out. Remember, uh, if we go, oh, and the other thing, so this is the other thing that's kind of important. Uh, I want to make this on a surface that will uh, ultimately be photographable. So we'll make kind of a pretty picture. So I'm gonna get, uh, let's happen to have a white sheet of paper over here. I'm gonna kind of lay that out on my cutting board there. Uh, and the nice thing about that is that's going to make a really nice uh, photograph, nice clean background for a photograph later. Uh, so, all right, so we're going to lay out some wings. And again, so his leaves, if you notice from that image, they laid nice and flat. And these, you can see, they don't. Uh, and so instead of, you know, scrapping these or getting rid of these, what I might try to do is kind of create a situation where uh, these lay flatter than they are currently. So uh, I think for my purposes, I've got some stick material here. I'm just going to cut off some of this. You can see, I'm just going to cut off some chunks of stick. And then I'm just going to tuck these underneath. So I'm going to hide this guy away see so see how that kind of changed it now it's laying more flat uh, I'm gonna do the same thing over here so just kind of put that guy there and that's better but I think I probably need something a little bit thicker under there so I've got a kind of a thick chunk here again I'm just using what I've got this is uh, totally an exercise in creative problem-solving which uh, is something that you know I love uh, that's one of the things I love about making art is that creative problem-solving 
So now that wing's laying a little bit more flat and happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna place the top wings and I wanna keep them kind of close to uh, what I would perceive as the center. I think that that uh, leaf lays nicely flat. Uh, my, for my purposes, because I can look on my computer screen and kind of see what this image looks like, it's really helpful. Uh, if you can't, then I would recommend that you get yourself so you're right above it, like where my hand is right now, so you can just kind of look at it and see what you think, how do you feel. Uh, so now I'm gonna go for the abdomen, and I'm gonna just kind of lay this guy down here gently. Which again, I'm looking at, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, and then this is just, this is, um, this is probably unnecessary, but I just like the, the look of this leaf. And I think it would be visually interesting to kind of have that laying over the top of the abdomen. And now I'm just gonna kind of adjust just a little bit. Just making, these are like those small details that I talk about. Um, so pretty happy with the way that looks. I'm gonna go ahead now and place uh, and I'm looking at, so these are the leaves that I had kind of set aside for what I perceive to be the head. I don't want that stem, stems I find kind of get in the way with these pieces. So I'm just gonna kind of gently place this guy out here. And again, if you notice that, uh, so like the way it's tipping right now, well, when I look at it on the screen, it, it seems to be okay. But if you find with, you know, something that you place or the way, the way you've placed something that it's, uh, it doesn't look the way you want it, then uh, just you know adjust it, make it work for you. Put something underneath it if you need to. That's what I thought I was going to have to do. So we've got the, the second leaf, and I'm just going to place it right on top of that first one. And I think, so my placement on that, I would like to adjust. This would be, so uh, if you have some tweezers, really helpful for this, the purpose of this. So that just allows you to kind of get in there without disrupting anything else. I know that my big uh, thick fingers would not have done that as neatly. Uh, and so I'm just gonna kind of replace this guy and I feel okay about that. And then again, uh, so the last thing that I need to do is kind of place these antenna that I've set aside here. So I've got that, I'm just gonna kind of tuck that down underneath there. And again, uh, so I'm, I think what I'm gonna do now, because this leaf feels like it's getting in the way a little bit, I'm gonna take that guy out. Notice that I just I tweaked the whole thing, <laughs> which I think you're probably gonna find through this project is that you're gonna encounter that sort of thing where you'll have to kind of make adjustments. Uh, and I think it'll be a good learning process. So I can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place my antenna before I place the leaves that will be the head pieces. And I feel good about that placement. And now I'm just gonna go back with these leaves and I'm gonna use the tweezers to again, kind of keep my fingers out of the way of that, and just in that placement. Like I say, it's gonna be a very, uh, it's kind of a game of can you place it very gently? If you if you really want to use glue, I think you can, but I will tell you, my bet is that glue is going to be just as problematic. So, so got kind of a little butterfly there. Um, and again, what I would do now, if I'm the artist of this, is I'm going to look at uh, the details of this and decide does it look uh, the way I want. Like right now, in my opinion, this leaf here is a little bit too thick. Um, so I might consider if before I would photograph this, I think honestly what I think I would do is I would come back with another piece of this grass and it could look visually better than the, uh, that leaf. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, so got that last thing I want you to do is think about how you photograph. What I would recommend is, um, so I'm going to my phone, I'm going to my camera. What I would recommend is that you use the square setting. Uh, so you can see I've got my square setting. Uh, and then just make sure, so let's see, I need, I'm trying to think if I can do this so you guys can see. Just make a nice photograph is, is really what I want. Make sure that there's a nice frame all the way around it. Um, square setting, I think for these insects, I think is most efficient, but 
But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing uh, what you guys create for this project. But let's get started just with this butterfly. All right, thanks.